That wasn't annoying or anything. Hello everyone! For today's video, I'm going to be doing just like the title says, the sweater weather tag. Now, it's ironic, I was gonna say ironic, I guess it's not ironic because it's November, so this makes sense, but it's actually super cold and cloudy outside, and I don't know what happened, but within like the last two days, it all of a sudden went from like, oh, I think it's starting to get a little chilly to like freezing, at least freezing for us. Like everyone that I'm seeing, I'm like, dude, is it like freezing outside? And everyone's like, yeah, it's freezing. So I felt like it was super appropriate and I was very ready to do this tag. So I was actually tagged by Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi. So thank you, Ingrid. I feel like you tagged me a lot and I never actually take the time to sit down and do tags, but this felt like ready. I felt ready for today. So I also have my little baby girl in here her sweater kind of matching we're both in neutrals ready to do the sweater weather tag okay so with that being said I'm gonna open up the questions and I'm going to answer them all right favorite candle scent now my favorite candle scent I have two answers for this as of right now and the first one is way more fall appropriate but I've mentioned it so many times I feel like I'm beating it to death and that is definitely mahogany teakwood from Bath and Body Works but the second scent that I'm obsessed with right now is actually kind of has nothing to do with fall or cold weather at all but I love it and actually it's really fun because when I burn it it feels kind of tropical and nice but it's like I'm also warm and cozy inside my house. I don't know, but that is Bali Sunrise. Now, this candle is actually from Target. It's about $10. It burns for a really long time. It's a scented soy candle. It's a really pretty color, and most importantly, obviously, is the scent. Let me describe it. It's kind of like a citrusy, kind of guava, just yeah, guava is the best word for it. It kind of smells guava-esque and it just is such an amazing smell and I don't know what it is in particular about this scent from like the Target candle line, but this scent in particular really makes the whole room just smell incredible. Some of the other scents from Target I find don't really have a very strong scent. So they don't really do that, but this scent, I love it. I feel like I'm in like a warm tropical paradise in my house, even if it's like cold and cloudy outside. So I absolutely love it. I highly recommend checking it out at Target. And that's my favorite candle scent. Second question, coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? I think you should pause the video and make a guesstimate down below in the comment section because I think all of you, without fail, are going to guess the answer to this question. So go ahead, hit pause and guess in the comment section. <laughs> okay, if you guessed T, then you guessed correctly. Now, the funny thing is, um, I don't know what it is. I guess I'm like a Southern California er that gets in denial of cold weather because even though it's cold out, I still prefer iced tea. But when I am going to drink hot tea, which I have to just say is not that often, these are my two favorite hot teas. I don't really like them to be super sweet. I mean, I don't even like my regular like iced tea to very, be very sweet. I kind of like the bitter tea taste. So the two teas that I like drinking hot are the pomegranate white tea from Trader Joe's. Um, this is really good. It's just a white tea, hibiscus flowers and lemongrass. Yummy, it's not too, it's not like sweet, so I like that. Um, and I don't add sugar or anything to any of my teas because like I said I like kind of the tea taste and then the second one is the Yogi Skin Detox and this one I started drink actually started drinking both of them last winter and I still like them so if you have any other recommendations for like really good what you like these teas too if you have any other recommendations for really good like warm teas knowing that I don't like things like super sweet and I like kind of the tea taste let me know in the comment section um because I want to know do you do your do you switch up your makeup for the season now I did bring out I make a couple minor shifts but not really too drastically I kind of like like what I like if you hear her I don't know what her thing has been lately she just makes little like chirping noises what what Come here, come here, let's show them my makeup. Come here, 
She's trying to climb under the camera. There we go. She's so cute. Okay, so I've made a couple changes lately. These are not big, but these are like new additions to my makeup. And they feel a little more fall. And I'm really, really liking them. And the first is the Pacifica Eyeshadow Quad right here. I really like these colors. I'm actually wearing three of these colors today. I'm wearing the lightest shade. Actually, I think I might be wearing all of them. And it's just a really pretty palette. And I don't really have anything else to say about it other than it's a really pretty palette. The purple is awesome. Even though there is purple in this palette, if you wear all these colors, it feels like you create a really nice neutral look. And if you have hazel or green eyes like I do, you might like this. You might want to check it out. It's really good. And then the other thing that I added to like my makeup routine lately that I feel like once again I can wear all year round, but it's really nice for fall is the NARS Dolce Vita lipstick. And this was given to me by my friend Tati. She she hated it on her skin tone so she gave it to me and I absolutely love it I am wearing it today I feel like it's like my skin but like if Zoe was on it huh huh um no I feel like it's my skin but like a little more like oomph to my lips just a little bit but I've been able to go out of the house with no makeup and just put this on and it looks like my lips are just like alive but Dan's like dude you're wearing lipstick like your lips just look good so he's not like a huge fan of like lipstick but he really likes this one on so that kind of tells you the look it kind of gives and I don't know I just really like it warms my face up one out is that what's going on you don't want to be with me while I film my sweater weather tag well then the least you can do is say goodbye to everyone say bye I'm gonna go wear my sweater in the living room I don't know why I talked to her in that insanely high pitched voice. I'm gonna go wear my sweater in the living room. All right. Favorite Thanksgiving food. Okay, so if you watched my Thanksgiving outfit ideas video, I actually mentioned at the end of the video what my favorite Thanksgiving food is. It's party potatoes. My mom makes these really amazing potatoes. She calls them party potatoes. They're full of everything that could possibly be bad for you. Sour cream, cream cheese, butter, just a ton of really, really, really yummy stuff. They're absolutely amazing, and that is definitely my favorite Thanksgiving food. <gasps> this is hard, guys. Hats or scarves? I am gonna give them an even tie do wait do beanies count as hats because guys I I think I might have a beanie problem <laughs> um if you follow me on Instagram you know that I really like beanies for some reason I just won't well, know let's just really not avoid the truth here it's not just for some reason it's really because I become even lazier in the fall time because I feel like I just don't want to do my hair all the time or I'm going out and it's gonna get ruined anyways so I like putting lots and lots and lots of beanies on that being said I also have a slight scarf obsession because I'm always cold so in the fall when it's actually cold and it's not summer anymore I feel like I always want to bring scarves with me like everywhere I go like in my purse and friends have been with me before we're like sitting there and I just like pull my scarf out and it's like the reveal like ooh, what scarf did you bring so I'm gonna say it is an even Steven tie because I am equally obsessed with both and I don't know if I'm allowed to do that but it's an even Steven tie most worn sweater I am gonna say that it is my it's not sitting next to me right now but it is my Zara cardigans or I'll just say cardigans I feel like I'm cheating in this tag by being very general or giving ties but cardigans are definitely my most worn sweaters because I don't know I feel like they always go with everything like if I'm feeling lazy I can wear a cardigan if I want to feel like a little more like I have a dress on a cardigan goes with it I feel like if I'm going to the gym and I'm in leggings and a tank I can just grab a cardigan like I just really like cardigans and I like them to be a little on the longer size or side I don't know I think they call those like grandpa lengths um maybe I'm completely making that up but I feel like that's what they call them and yeah I just like my sweaters to be a little longer also probably because I wear leggings as pants very frequently when they're on the longer side they kind of cover up my butt so um cardigans must have fall nail polish now I have 
I brought in with me like a couple examples, but I'm actually, I can't find some of them right now, so I'll also tell you. My number one favorite color um, is Linkin Park After Dark. I like the dark purple, almost black kind of color, but I'm actually gonna go today to Ulta to try to get Essie's version of that because I actually like Essie as a nail polish brand better than OPI. OPI is actually a liqueur, Essie is a polish, and polishes dry faster than liqueurs. So when I wear OPI, I think that's what it's called. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong but um, when I wear SE I feel like my nails will not feel like they do they dry faster than when I wear OPI but I love Lincoln Park after dark and along the line of OPI I love you don't know Jacques this is just a taupey kind of cement color really pretty neutral color um I really like it and then the color that I'm wearing which is just like this glitter color it's all chipped it's like definitely time to do a manicure again I actually don't know where I put this bottle but it's amazing and it's like pure glitter awesomeness and it was the last one in the stand at Target but I think it's like a new collection so you could probably find it anywhere and then I really like this kind of dark blue graphite color it's from Essie called bobbing for bobbles this is another really good color and then this time of the year is the only time where I whip out glitter and I feel like it's a neutral. I don't know, that doesn't make any sense, I guess because the holidays, but this is another cool glitter, and this is from OPI, and it's called Bring On The Bling. Ooh. So those are my favorite fall time colors. I like those colors, I mean, kind of all year round, but especially in the fall, um, those are the colors that really rotate my nails. So, football games or jumping in a pile of leaves. I would have to say neither, <laughs> but if you... <laughs> I've been into snapping lately, but if you made me pick one, I would say jumping into a pile of leaves because that sounds like a lot less work. It is a lot, a lot less work than playing football, um, but I wouldn't want to jump in a pile of leaves because I feel like there would be a lot of bugs, at least out here in California. Maybe in other states, you guys have so many fallen leaves, it's just like, just leaves, and that sounds like fun, but um, at least where I live, not really possible. The gardeners in the complex take away all the leaves. So skinny jeans or leggings? You have one guess. Leggings. I'm obsessed with pixie pants, which are basically just leggings that are a little thicker. I love them, and yeah, they feel like I'm in sweats. Um, boots or Uggs? Okay, now I love me some Uggs. I'm actually gonna buy like a new pair. I wanna get like a dark chocolate shorter pair. Um, I've always had like the lighter sand pair in the past, I, but now I want the dark chocolate one ones. But if I had to pick, I would say boots because Uggs are definitely not for me wearable every single day, depending on if it's like raining outside or whatever. But I love Uggs, but I would have to say boots. What is your number one favorite thing about the fall time? I am going to say all of the holidays. I love that there are so many holidays this time of the year. You know, we have Thanksgiving and it just feels like everybody is in more of a like vacation mode because we all know vacation is coming up and people are getting times to take breaks and like hang out with family and friends and eat really good food and go to fun like parties and see Christmas lights and like I just I like the vibe in the air this time of year and I mean out here it gets so hot in the summer like 115 degrees at points so the fall is kind of like just a nice it almost it's just like shakes up your life a little bit you're like wow now it's not hot for once so it's a nice change what is the fall weather like where you currently live okay so I already and that's the last question by the way I already answered that kind of in the beginning but it's like 50s outside right now so it's definitely not super freezing um, and that's just for today it's not gonna be like this the entire fall like this is a colder time for fall um, but yeah we kind of sit in like 50s to like upper 60s low 70s in the fall and then we'll have a couple days where it'll get a little hotter than that but that in general is our fall weather so that is the end of the sweater weather tag I am really happy that it is fall and it's here and it's arrived and I hope you guys are just as excited about fall as I am and I hope you stay warm and bundled and I hope you have a great day. Let me know in the comments if you end up doing the sweater weather tag like on your blog or on your YouTube channel. I'm gonna stop rambling though now and I'm gonna leave but I will see you all later. Have a good day and yeah, bye!